it's a magnificent thing. It's very beautiful. So now about some interesting differences. Uh, so you know, from Egypt, which I was where where I just was, emergency vehicle. The emergency vehicle went through, and the cars moved out of the way. That is so strange now, after being in Damascus and Alexandria, where emergency vehicle just goes and everyone's just kind of, some try to like go behind it so that they can get through and, I don't know, it seems like a disregard and sometimes if it's really serious they'll scream through the microphone, they'll be like, there's someone dying, you know, get out of the way. Uh, but here they moved and, you know, it was like the U.S., so weird. Uh, crossing the street, still I'm not, I don't know, I want adventure when I'm crossing the street like Egypt, so... You know, it'll say, don't walk, and I'll see, like, 100 feet. I can walk easily, slowly, and not get hit. And so I just I just walk, and everybody around me is like, <gasps> they gasp. They're like, how is he walking? He's such a daring individual. I'm not daring. That's just how you do it in Egypt. I, in fact, you, you get, like, a foot away. Your thigh's almost going to get hit by the car or your knee or something, and you just you do it. I heard some honks today, finally. You know, usually it's just in the background, beep, 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 beep. Here, I heard a couple honks. And so that was that was good. It made me remember uh, where I am presently living, what I where I can call home. Dads with kids. Can you believe that? There were so many dads who had kids and they were taking care of them. I thought that was really cool. Um, it was uh, showing us that there's more gender equality. Perhaps, perhaps. I don't know. This is just based on one person's observations, and that's why anthropological studies are often useless, in my opinion, because it's just. You know, there's no statistics or anything. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing. I thought that was really that was really cool that they were helping out. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that in Damascus or Alexandria. Although, you know, there for sure must be some people who do that. Yet these kids, I mean, they were handling such cold temperature. So from a young age, they're able to withstand that. And that's why a lot of people are walking around without hats, without scarves, without gloves, and they're totally normal. It reminds me of uh, one place in Africa I was reading about where the people give the baby small doses of, of uh, snake poison, you know, just drops, so that when they get older, they increase it, and then they slowly build an immunity to it. Um, another thing, female clothing is so much different. You know, I, I mentioned this last time, but they wear these really, really, really tight jeans. They don't look comfortable. They look difficult to get into, and, and personally, I, I don't even think they look good, but I don't know, it's just a weird thing. I have not seen that um, in the Arab world. It's just a weird thing. I don't know why they do that. And a lot of the, the guys, they look like you know, very tight jeans as well. I don't know, that, that's not comfortable for me. But hey, maybe it's stylish here. So that's an interesting thing. Very, uh, also about the kids. So I hear, and this is just one person talking to another person, that there are also some ladies who just want babies. You know, they don't want marriage. They don't want uh, any commitment. They just want... Uh, to be impregnated, and it's happened more than once, someone I know. So that's that's a very interesting phenomena as well. And I'd like to end on this note. This makes me very happy. So I don't know if I said this, but uh, one time I was speaking fusha in my dreams with Arab, which means very proper Arabic with all the intonations. Very few people speak like that. But I was dreaming like that, which was very cool. And I woke up, I was having a conversation with someone, I woke up and I was still speaking in it. And so that, that made me very happy. Well, last night, apparently, and I talk in my sleep and move a lot, I was speaking a little bit in German. I, I said one sentence, was is das, which is, what is that? And a little bit of English as well. So that made me happy. So, yeah, you know, slowly making progress. Um, and, yeah, I'm getting ready. Oh, yeah, by the way, update on my London flight. I'm going to print out my boarding pass right now. It went through, so I'm sure it's going to be the best thing for me, and I'm excited about it. I leave this Saturday. Just uh, thought of that, and... Uh, Looking forward to seeing the UK for the first time. Alright, take care. Farewell from Berlin and Assalamu alaikum.